the 2022 Open has come to a close. Kinda. Some of you still got to do it Monday. But it's done. That's right. The 2022 Open has come to a close. 22.3 was everything that we hoped it would be and more. If you still haven't done it yet, you have an opportunity on Monday to do it. And then as of Monday, it's in the books. Cool. Uh, make sure you come Saturday, this Saturday. Um, between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m., we are going to tally up this points, finalize, and award the team and the team captain with the 2022 CrossFit Open Creek Cup so they can drink from it and carry it around and get pictures with it and all that and then display on the gym for all to see and bragging rights for the next year. So great work, everybody, um, getting this in and getting it done and really just kind of rallying around the Open. Friday Night Lights was a blast. All of you that came and did the workout or already did the workout and came and, and supported your fellow athletes. So much fun. Great time. It was good to have everyone back and just like just sweating and partying. It was good time. So thank you everyone for that. Uh, made my week month here. I love Friday Night Lights. Going forward, the programming, what you're going to look at now is now that we're through the open, we're not going to spend a whole other year prepping for the open per se. Um, but what we're actually going to get into is some strict gymnastics work. And so we actually, for those of you too, that like we're struggling with some pull-ups, uh, in this open workout, great week to start learning some things, um, and kind of dialing in some things when it comes to developing some strict gymnastic strength. There's actually gonna be two opportunities this week to work on the strict pull-up. You're also going to see strict handstand push-ups and strict dips. And the best way to look at strict movements is treat them like a workout that is with a heavier weight, with a heavier barbell. If you see a workout, uh, the prescribed weight is deadlifts at 355, 275, something like that. That's heavy. Like that's heavy for everybody. And so we would say to you in that workout, pick a weight that should allow you to do five to seven reps per round. Look at strict gymnastics that same way. Strict gymnastics is the heavy load. It's the heavy barbell load. Not something we're not looking for one, like we're not looking for you to just get, find a one rep max strict gymnastics movement. We want something that is challenging and pushes you to be able to do about five to seven reps. So when you look at the workout, start thinking about that. If it's a pull-up, is it with a thinner band? Is it the toe-assisted pull-up with your feet on the ground or on a box? Uh, if it's a dip, again, toes on the ground. If it's a handstand push-up without stacking a bunch of mats, is it pike on a box? Um, you know, working that full range of motion. So what we want to do is make sure we're working that big full range of motion and something that challenges us for about five to seven reps at a time. Okay, so great, great, great way to A, just also just kind of rebuild the foundation of you as an athlete. Strict gymnastics works makes everything better. Not just gymnastics, but everything better. So great time to get back into that. Some of you already talked about too, again, with pull-ups. Make sure to look at the calendar. Make sure to look at the week. Um, strict pull-ups this week. Other than that, a lot of great things going on um, here on the creek. Again, finishing up the open, strict gymnastics work. Uh, it was actually warm, so the doors open much more, with the exception of right now it is snowing outside. That is craziness. And uh, mark your calendars too. So actually you're going to see Coach Jack and Coach Shelly are moving on from the coaching game. And so I want you guys to make sure to mark your calendars April 1st after the 930 class. We're going to have a little brunch and just kind of celebrate our two coaches as um, as they move. One moves back onto an athlete and one moves on to just bigger things in life, whatever that may be. So um, let's make sure we uh, celebrate uh, those two wonderful people. So again, that's April 1st after the 930 class. More details to come on that. Um, otherwise, everyone have a great and amazing week. Look forward to seeing everybody on the creek.